हे एवरी वन वेलकम टू आर रियल इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस सीरीज एज यू नो वी शेयर आर सब्सक्राइबर्स इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस हेयर सो वन ऑफ आर सब्सक्राइबर्स साई किरण रिसेंटली क्रैक्ट एस डब्ल्यू ई टू एट हेज इन सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोन शेयर एवरी थिंग अबाउट हिज एक्सपीरियंस वॉट ही शेयर विद मी एंड गाइज इफ यू हैव अटेंडेड एन इंटरव्यू रिसेंटली देन फिल द फॉर्म बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन वी विल रीच आउट टू यू यू कैन चूज टू शेयर योर नेम और शेयर योर एक्सपीरियंस एनोनिमसली We are also giving gift cards to the participants, so don't miss out, and also don't forget to subscribe to catch more videos like this. So now let's get started. So guys, basically he applied through LinkedIn for a role open for two to five year of experience, and he is having two point seven year of experience in total. There were total three rounds. The first round was DSA and development round. This went one point five hour plus. The second round was system designing and project discussion. This is also went one point five hour plus, and the third round was fitment round. In this round, interviewer asked four Java Spring Boot technical questions. Okay, this candidate cleared all rounds and selected in Hastin. Now I am gonna discuss each round one by one thoroughly. So basically, in the first round, the interviewer first asks a coding question, write a Java program to check whether a given mathematical equation is valid. The equation may contain numbers, plus, minus, multiply. Slash and parentheses. Return true if the equation is valid and false otherwise. So this was the question. So we would use a stack to validate parentheses and ensure they are balanced. We will check for invalid operator sequence like plus and multiply consecutively or misplaced operators. We would skip spaces and validate that the equation doesn't start or end with an operator. In the end, return true if all the conditions are satisfied. Then interview ask vending machine problem. The proper question was to design a Java program to simulate a vending machine that dispenses items based on a user input. The machine should accept coins, check the balance, and dispense the selected item if sufficient funds are provided. So I will provide the solution and explanation link of this problem in the description below. So moving to our next question. Then interviewer asked a SQL query to find the second, third, and fourth highest salary from the employee table. So for this, we should use a SQL distinct and limit with offset first. We have to sort the salaries in descending order. Then we have to use limit minus one, offset, and minus one to get the required salary where n is the rank. It may vary like two, three, and four. Okay. Then interviewer asked to find the average salary of each country from the employee list. So to answer this, first we have to find the average salary of each country from the employee table. Then we have to use average function group uh, by on the country column. This groups employee by country and calculates the average salary for each group. Then interviewer asked to find the sum of all odd numbers from a list. By using Stream API in Java, so this is very simple coding question. I will provide a solution link of this problem in the below description. So this was the first round. I told you all the questions whatever have been asked. So in the second round, first there was a project discussion with in-depth explanation of the past projects and the follow-up questions on design and implementation on these. And this went around twenty-five minutes. Before moving ahead, guys, I would like to share one important thing with you. Actually, we have launched complete interview preparation material structure style. By step by myself, expert and MNCs interviewers, and the best part is that now no one need to go anywhere else to prepare interviews. There is a ninety nine percent chance that interviewers will ask questions from this material. So basically, it contain a lot of material categorized by experience level. Means each experience level has different material with all possible interview questions and answers for Java, Spring Framework, Maven, Git, Spring Boot, Spring Security, Spring Data, JPA, Kafka, Microservices, Java coding questions, Stream API coding questions, and many more. I have provided the link to get this in the below description. And if someone need this material plus two real Enterprise client projects for reference plus one-on-one -on -one lifetime doubt sessions and the referrals to the big MNCs. Then they should check the interview preparation kit. I will provide the link for this as well in the description below. So now moving to our interview experience. Then interviewer started asking system design and low-level designing questions. So first question was design a video streaming platform like YouTube. So in order to answer this, you could say I would design a video streaming platform like YouTube using a microservices architecture for better scalability. Right? I would implement user management, video upload, transcoding, streaming, and content delivery using AWS S3 and CloudFront. I would use a distributed database like MongoDB for storing metadata and Elasticsearch for fast search functionality. 
to ensure fast video delivery i would use a cdn and leverage kafka for real time data processing for authentication i would implement oauth with rbse for secure access i would use fmmpg for video encoding to support multiple formats for adaptive streaming i would use redis for caching and develop backend service using spring boot with rest apis finally in the end i would deploy the platform using kubernetes for scalability and issues observability using prometheus and grafana then he asked how to handle millions of concurrent users so for this we could use load balancers auto scaling and distributed databases we should implement caching like redis optimize apis use cdns and ensure fault tolerance monitor system performance and scale horizontally to manage traffic effectively okay then interviewer asked about cdn redis and load balancing strategies so a cdn stands for content delivery network it distributes content across multiple servers worldwide to reduce load and deliver data faster redis is an in memory data stores used for caching and real time processing whereas load balancing strategies distribute incoming traffic using methods like round robin least connections or ip hash to ensure optimal performance then interviewer ask about storing and managing videos so storing and managing videos involves saving them in cloud storage like aws s3 we will be using cdn for faster delivery and coding in multiple formats and maintaining a database to manage metadata and ensure easy access and playback then he has sql versus no sql for metadata storage so sql is a ideal for structured data ensures consistency and supports complex queries no sql is suitable for unstructured or semi structured data offers high scalability and handles large volumes efficiently then interviewer ask about api gateway so an api gateway manages and routes apis requests between clients and services it handles authentications rate limiting load balancing and it also provides an improved security performance and reliability by acting as a single entry point for all the requests okay then interviewer ask about microservices versus monolithic architecture so microservices breaks applications into smaller independent services making them easier to scalable and maintainable monolithic combines all functions into one code base making deployment easier but harder to scale then interviewer ask async messaging like kafka and rabbitmq so async messaging like kafka and rabbitmq allow service to communicate without waiting for immediate response it queues messaging ensuring reliability delivery and handling high traffic efficiently this improve system performance and prevent service overload then he asked rest versus grpc so rest uses http and json simple and human readable but slower for larger data whereas grpc uses http2 and proto but faster and efficient but harder to debug then he has authentication and authorization mechanism so authentication verifies user identity using credentials like username and password and authorization grants or restricts access based on user permissions then he ask about request flow database schema and service transaction so request flow defines users how request pass through api services whereas database this schema organizes data structure in tables and relationships and services transactions and ensures multiple operations complete successfully or roll back to maintain data consistency so guys this was the second round and in the third round the interview first was what's the latest versions available in java which one you are using currently in your project so you have to answer these as per your project then interviewer asked the latest updates in java 17 so java 17 is a long term support version ensuring stability and security it offers better performance modern features and regular updates by using java 8 it would be lack of new enhancements while the latest versions may not be the fully stable for production then they asked the key difference between java 8 and java 17 so java 17 offers better performance and hence security and long term support while java 8 lacks modern features and is less efficient for modern applications then he asked which database would you use for an application like zepto so for an application like zepto for quick commerce we could use mysql or postgresql for transactional data redis for caching and mongodb for flexible data storage this combination basically ensures fast performance data consistency and scalability to handle high traffic then interviewer asked reason for switching job where do you see yourself for next years project introduction discussion about the team i will be working with and the tech stack 
so you have to answer all this question according to you and your experience so guys this is all about hashtag technical interview experience and don't forget to check the interview preparation kit below thanks